How safe is the rental car you rent? Hi, I'm consumer specialist Rick Romero, and coming up, I'll tell you all about legislation that would require rental car companies to fix safety recalls before they rent the car. Live from ABC7, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rob Fukasaki Sports, as Eyewitness News at 5 in high definition continues. An update now on an eyewitness news investigation. Last year, consumer specialist Rick Romero found several used car dealers selling cars with safety recalls that had not been fixed. He's been digging even deeper and has now found rental car companies doing the same thing, renting out cars with unrepaired safety recalls or without basic safety equipment. This week, legislation is in the works to stop the practice and to help protect you and your family the next time you rent a car. Gloria Levesque was on a family vacation when the rented Ford Expedition she was riding in rolled over, crushing the roof. At the time, Gloria was a school teacher with one of the Montessori schools. Today, she can no longer work. I ended up having a spinal cord injury and, and I'm partially paralyzed. The rental vehicle was not equipped with optional electronic stability control as seen in this crash test video. Had it been installed and working properly, electronic stability control, or ESC, could have prevented the rollover. And according to attorney Brian Chase, who settled Gloria's lawsuit against Ford Motor Company and the rental car company Enterprise, ESC could have been purchased for just a few hundred dollars. If they can sell a car or rent a car rather without seat belts and seat belts were an optional item, they'd do that. You know, there's no other explanation then other than they make money buying cars cheaper. Cars are cheaper without safety items. Callie Houck's two daughters, 24-year-old Rachel and 20-year-old Jacqueline, rented a PT Cruiser from Enterprise Rent-A-Car. At the time, the vehicle was under a safety recall for a power steering problem, but it had not been fixed. In fact, it had been rented at least three times before the Hawk sisters got it. Near Santa Cruz, the power steering fluid leaked and then ignited. The car caught fire. Rachel lost her ability to control the car. It uh, plowed into an 18-wheeler and it burst into a ball of flames on, on impact. And Rachel and Jackie were gone immediately. In a lawsuit, Enterprise admitted liability, and Callie Hauk was awarded $15 million in damages, which she says is nothing compared to losing her daughters. Unlike car dealers who are required by federal law not to sell any vehicles under a safety recall until fixed, rental car companies, which are the single largest purchaser of new vehicles and the single largest source of used cars, have no such requirement. Senator Charles Schumer of New York and Senator Barbara Boxer of California have introduced a bill to require the rental car industry to follow the same rules as car dealers. In a committee meeting on the subject, Boxer said, A former enterprise manager in San Francisco testified in the deposition. This is what he said. When demand called, we rented out recalled vehicles. If all you have are recalled vehicles on the lot, you rent them out. It was a given. For me, it is a no-brainer, and I hope we can resolve it. Hertz Rent-A-Car Company agrees with Senator Barbara Boxer and is backing the Senate bill. But Enterprise Rent-A-Car, which also owns Alamo and National, and is the largest rental car company in the country, is not in favor of the bill at all. In fact, on Enterprise's own website, they say, We maintain a team of senior executives to review recalls when the manufacturer recommends an interim measure. From time to time, we may elect to use that interim solution to avoid stranding many travelers for no reason. I did try to get an on-camera interview with Enterprise, but they declined. They sent a statement instead. Today, our customers can rest assured that we have the operating procedures and policies in place to ensure that the vehicles they rent from us are properly maintained and meet the highest standards for safety. When you rent a car, you know, you, you're putting your trust in that in that company, that vehicle, and your, your lives and your, your family's lives. I miss them every day, and I have vowed that they won't be forgotten, and they certainly will not be relegated to a, to a statistic. Now, that bill is called the Rachel and Jacqueline Houck Safe Car Act. It is expected to be voted on in the Senate Commerce Committee sometime this week. Meantime, experts say before you rent a car, ask the agent if the car has been recalled and has been fixed. Also, check to see what safety equipment is on the vehicle. 
Now, if you feel strongly about the Senate bill, we'll link you to Senator Boxer's website. And if you want to check to see if a car has been recalled, you can do all that by going to our website, abc7.com, and clicking on the consumer link. Michelle and David, back to you.